Are you preparing for an interview or are you planning to prepare for one? In this particular series, we are going to see most common problems which are asked in companies and we are going to solve that problem. Let's get started with the first question which is all about solving the increasing longer subarray problem. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. This particular question has been asked by Cisco, Facebook, Ola and Bloomberg. So I have just chosen this problem because it was more common. Let's discuss that and then let's see how to solve that problem. So the problem is longest increasing sub sequence or longest in increasing sequence in an array. So, so the problem statement is longest increasing subarray. So we need to find the length of the longest increasing subarray. So let's take a simple example. Let's consider this as our input: three, four, five, three, two, four, seven, eight, and six. So if you notice here, three, four, five is one subarray. Two, four, seven, eight is one subarray. So these are different subarrays, and we need to find the longest length of an increasing subarray. So 2478 is the longest length, the solution would be the answer for that will be 4. So we need to arrive at the solution 4. Right? What are the different solutions we have? We need to consider the time complexities. What are the different time complexities we have uh, for this particular problem? So we have order of n because we need to process the whole array once. So if we process it once, it is order of n. If you process it twice, then you will have order of n into order of n which will be order of n power 2 right which is order of n square if we process this element twice then we need to uh, get order of n square so which is a bad practice so we are, we need either the order of n because that will be like an ideal solution where you have the elements processed at least once because we need to uh, find the longest increasing subarray from the whole array so we need to either process um, once and order also we have order of n log n we cannot use it because uh, the elements are already sorted uh, for example binary search uses order of n log n we cannot use the binary search because we are not sorting the elements it is already sorted the other uh, time complexity which we have is order of n order of 1 sorry so which is ruled out because uh, we don't have a single um, operation to be performed to identify this particular longest increasing subarray from the whole array we have to process the array at least once so this is our feasible time complexity which we can achieve so let's see how we can achieve with that by writing a solution so i have a basic uh, gradle project here so there is nothing fancy i just created a new basic project uh, which is just a gradle project so i'm going to create a class here so i'm just going to create com tech primers longest uh, increasing subarray even the class name is long nice okay so we i'll just create a simple public static void main i'll just create a integer array right so i'll just create the array saying new int with the elements so let me copy the elements of the array here I'll just paste it so that is the array for us um, so what do I need I will create a start pointer I'll create an end pointer so that we can track the whole array as a subarray so that we have control over the index and also I'll have a variable with which we can store the length of the array which is maximum at that point of time so I'll create start end and then uh, let's assign some uh, default val values so the default value for length would be 1 because by default you can have only um, one element as well right in an array so I'll just make it as length as 1 uh, the end can be 1 and start can be 0 so that I process them in a sequence so I'll start off with 0 and 1 so I'll use while loop in my in this particular case because I don't need to um, start using the index instead I'll use the start and end pointers so I'll just use the while loop 
um, the first basic check I will do is if the end is less than the array array's length right? it should be less than the array's length or else I will end up in the array index out of bound exception so I'll do that and I need to increment the end every time right so I'll add that in the end what do I need to check I need to check if this particular element is greater than this particular element. so I need to check if the array of end is greater than the array of end end minus one right so if let's say this is the start and this is the end I have to check whether these two are whether they are greater or not if this is done then I need to check these two so start will be stuck here so I can use only end so I will just say end minus one that is why I am using end minus one instead of directly using start because start and end can be at different points uh, in a particular array at some point so I'll do that if it is not if it is not greater what do I need to do I need to just reassign start right because I need to skip that particular element so let's say if it start and end are here and if this particular element is greater than this element then I need to skip this and then I need to make this a start right and then I need to increment the end so that is what I am doing here in the else part which is simpler now if it is greater what do I need to do I need to compare if this particular length is greater than this particular length so I am going to check that if the end minus start right plus 1 so because we, we are starting with 0 so I will just add 1 if it is greater than the length right so what I am doing here is end let's say this particular end is 1 1 minus 0 okay plus 1 is it greater than the length so 3 and 4 if it is if 4 is greater that means it comes inside this particular loop and I, I know that this length is now 2 so I need to increment the length so I need to reassign the length as end minus start plus 1 right so did you get that point so what I am doing here is once I cross this particular element and if it is greater I need to check if the length of this particular element which is the end is it greater than the length of the one which we already had basically the default length so the default length was 1 in case of uh, in our case the start was started with 0 so we had to increment it as 1 right so that is why we are incrementing it here as 1 so that the length gets matched up okay so now I think the solution is done let's see the output right so I'll just print the length let me run this so the output which we expect here is 4 yeah the longest increasing uh, subarray from this particular input is 4 right I'll also upload this particular project into github I, I hope uh, you guys understood it uh, let me know if you are not able to understand um, I just took this solution because I uh, took this problem because uh, this was used uh, or this was asked by Cisco, Facebook, Ola and Bloomberg um, and also by many of the employers that is why I took this particular problem so I'll upload this into github you can take the solution from github as well do let me know if you have any question which I want which you want me to make which you want me to create a solution and then uh, post a video on I hope you like the video meet you again in the next video Thank you very much.